scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny, this is C. Tonight. <laughs> I'm going with the heart thing. Going again. with the heart throb? The Instagram heart. <laughs> nice. Hit the heart. <laughs> hit the heart. Hit the like. Um, we, I always say we have something interesting today. We, so, but it's true. We always do. <laughs> like, it's always something interesting. Um, it's not wrong. This one is particularly interesting because mm-hmm. it was obtained through the BC Spirit Release. Premium the Spirit Premium Release. Premium Spirit Release. This is the 2022 Not version. just the regular Spirit no, Release, no, no, the no. premium one. So what you see in front of you today, in front of us, Shall is, I? yes, go ahead. This is the Michter's U.S. Toasted Barrel Kentucky Sour Mash Whiskey. That's a lot. That's, that's got a lot going for it just in the name. Toasted. Limited release. Yep. U.S. What, toasted Barrel Finish. Sour mash whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, one forty nine ninety nine before taxes. One hundred forty nine ninety nine. So at fifteen percent because it's alcohol is taxed at fifteen percent. Sure. Ten cent deposit on top of that. Uh, so fifteen percent of one hundred and fifty is going to be fifteen, and then seven is twenty two. So that's one hundred and seventy two, seventy three. You know, ten cents. One hundred seventy three bucks per month. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> so it's a hundred and seventy-three dollar bottle of whiskey. That's a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey. It's a lot of money for one bottle. For one bottle of whiskey. That's not a lot for Especially, like five bottles. I so. mean, it's 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 a poor man's luxury, so to speak. You know, like yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's not gonna break the bank account. But well, you know, <laughs> it's it's a couple just, days before payday. Don't right? do it very often. I yes. Would suggest. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna read what it says on in the little booklet here. Yeah. Why don't well, you crack it first, actually? Okay. Okay. Pour, Quiet pour on set. Some in the glass. Okay. We're gonna. Yeah. I'll pour it while you. I'll pour while you bore. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we gotta hear the little cork. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna. Okay. Quiet on set. Wet up the cork, maybe. Right. Oh. There you go. The pre glug. It's not like it's that old. So. Okay. Three, two, one. Squeak oh, pop. I like that squeaky pop there. Well, okay. Yeah, great. Okay. Let's uh, hear a pre glug. I want to oh. hear the pre glug. Can the microphones oh, catch yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> Is there enough That's neck good. for a good, good pre glug? Here we go. <laughs> oh, mm. that sexy. And okay. you know what? Sometimes you get these. I'm just pour, I'm just pouring it you're out just, everywhere. Yeah, that's, that one's like, for your homies. Like, um, you know, sometimes you get these fancy balls, and you're like, I gotta put it away for just the right moment. The right moment is now. Here it is. Okay, okay. For the 2022 Toasted Sour Mash release, Michter's started with fully matured barrels of its US One Sour Mash whiskey. It is then transferred into specialty toasted barrels for additional aging. The precise toast profile on the second barrel is artfully selected by Michter's Master of Maturation. <laughs> Michter's <laughs> Master of Maturation. <laughs> Let's say that three times. Uh, uh, Andrea Wilson. This year's release is enhanced with added notes of smoked honey, ginger snap cookies, accentuated by toasted oak, all while honoring the sweet and spicy balance of the US One Sour Mash. Uh, mid palate, the toasty campfire notes appear and intensify the cherry and spice notes in the elegant whiskey. Whiskey. I call BS. On which part? I don't know. Maybe it's perfect. <laughs> I, it, this, I, I mean, just, those are good notes. Just really show, show the picture. Get a, get up close. Show the picture. There's um a cat. <laughs> it's the same thing as that. There's a cat on set tonight, <laughs> and I'm very concerned. We have cords here and cords there. Cord, cords if this video cuts out for a second and falls over it's because he rubbed up against the cord or something and for the first time ever we are also doing a live stream simultaneously over there that is that not called simulcast simulcast so we we occasionally look over there it looks like it's like (laughs) you're talking to somebody over there we are i feel like i'm like on the office where they like look at the camera oh yeah like jim um okay let's get to it okay so okay um a bit of (laughs) mictor's signature Kitty, move, please. Kitty, it. Yes. Kitty, spray it. Excuse me. Um, I don't think they're even gonna see the cat, and it'll be us interacting with this like <laughs> furball. Okay. Okay. Oh, the okay. sweet and spicy is there for sure. Sweet I like the spicy, a little bit musty, dusty on the nose too. Yeah, it has that kind of like agey kind of smell, right? Mm-hmm. Like, which is a kind of like a musty barrel char kind of job. 
but that that honey is definitely there. It almost has like a slight like eucalyptus spice on the nose. Um, it's positively it's spanking. It's positively <laughs> spanking whiskey. Um, Honestly, the nose is really good, but like that, um, the the spicy, oaky, sweet, a like bit vanilla. Cinnamon, like, a little bit like there is some of those traditional baking spices and cloves on the <laughs> back, but not, I'm not, you know, you're using it. I'm not going to lie. They kind of nailed the flavor. Yeah. Nose. <laughs> so I can't get any of those out of my head now. It's like, but yeah, like I know they, they talk right. about like campfire. I'm not getting into much of that, but. Maybe on the palate. Let's move on to taste this thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, I'm gonna tell you my first thing I tasted. Me too. Toasted barrel. Okay, you know what my first thing was? <laughs> What's that? Some of those tea notes. Yeah. Some black sure. tea. Yeah, it is. It's got like real kind of a mouth, not quenching, almost the opposite, like drying tannins on the side from that toasted oak. Like you can really get the oaky barrel on there. That is mm. really good. Mm. That's really good. Um, it is very good. I need a minute before if I decide if it's $170 good, but it's really well, good. I don't know if anything is. I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. That's just it is that like you start getting over $100 and you're like, yeah, that's a However, lot of money. That's a lot of money. I've had whiskey that I'm disappointed with for that price. Ah, uh, that's okay. And then this is like, you know. <laughs> that's almost like the, a... the benchmark is to not be disappointed. <laughs> Let's really hope you're not disappointed by a whiskey you spent that much money on. So far. But you're right. Yeah. You can be. <clears throat> you can. You're absolutely right. And mm. yeah, it's, I'm it's getting... okay. It's not disappointing. Do you know what? As I let this sit and dry out on my palate, mm -hmm. I'm getting some of those like smoky notes mm. like there is a bit of smoke in there but it's more like you've a, been brainwashed <laughs> but it's not like a i wouldn't say it's a campfire smoke it's almost like the smoke that you get like when you eat a smoked oyster like it's not <laughs> it's know? not peaty so to speak no like but it's, it's like just, i don't know because it's not goes early. it goes well with that uh toasted dough because it's almost like putting those oak chips into a smoker mm. and then it, you know yeah okay so it's it's yeah it's because like peaty can be very earthy a lot of times yeah and minerally this yeah. is like legit like just ribbons of smoke itself yeah it's like uh and cook, no, cooking yeah. a smoked salmon on a cedar plank i love it when we describe what it isn't yeah <laughs> we're way there's a lot of things it, it isn't what it doesn't taste like do you know what this <laughs> tastes nothing like popsicles or anything yeah, like that it's, it's awesome not at all i love it <laughs> mm. okay i think we've been rambling on but enough. i do kind of Want to want to keep coming back for more? Oh yeah. There's a definitely. there's a slight bit. Okay, two things that just came to my mind when I was like talking there. Yeah. Slight bit of a, like a nuttiness, and then even a little bit of that like almond cherry almond extracty kind of um, vibe. Yeah. It's really good though. It's a really lot, it's really a I, lot of things going on. Like the palate and the nose have a lot of different um, profiles to them. This, this is a desirable secondary market kind of a bottle. I see why now. Mm. A, because it's rare. Yeah. B, because it's friggin' tasty, though. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, so you, you, like, you're getting it at retail here. I don't know how much it flips for on the secondary market, secondary market these days, but I do know that these bottles show up there, which means that they go for even more. That means mm. there's people willing to pay even more than that. Wow. To get these toasted finished bottles. Yeah. Well, hey. All the more power it's, to you. It's a uh, it's a good whiskey, so fair enough. Fair enough. You know. Anyways, oh. thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Um, we are a part of all sorts of social media stuff. Yes. We're on Instagram. Yes. At Trenny and C. We're on uh, TikTok. TikTok. Same thing at Trenny and C. I believe. Yeah. And uh, if you want to become a part of our um, Patreon, our, mm -hmm. our our buddies on there, our patrons. Yeah. 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 Um, and win is, stuff and, win, and stuff. win stuff you get entered in draws for bottle giveaways and all sorts of cool things um, so go to patreon.com slash trendy and see you got it nailed it you got it and uh, sign up there somehow <laughs> <laughs> click the buttons you know. whatever the yeah alright all right. cheers everybody click like subscribe <laughs>